Welcome back, my friends, to some more Octopath Traveler. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer. We have finished Cyrus's boss fight, and now we're off to go talk to the Headmaster of the uh, Royal Academy again, because apparently he has words for me. I hope they're good words, and not like you treasonous, dirty scum kind of words, because, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a good thing. Hello, I'm here. I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. <laughs> what if I don't want to? Alright, fine. We'll enter. Hey, buddy. How? How you doing? Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for wait, you? Wait, wait, wait a minute. That thank you, Lucia. Is that... No. Is that coffee, Dad? Coffee Dad, is that you? Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Oh yeah, me me too, buddy, but uh no, I'm more interested in his identity. Coffee Dad, is that you? Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. Oh my god, I think that is. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Whoa! Wait, what? Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Is it? Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, Balderdash of the highest order. <laughs> Balderdash, nice. You don't hear that word <laughs> enough, I think, in, in common day. I like that word. I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. What do you mean? A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. No, I understand one thing. You have something out for me, dude. You want to see me suffer. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Oh, don't, don't, don't bullshit me. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own no, because it doesn't sound like to me you're going to let me come back. My reputation? Yes, yeah, seriously, I've done literally nothing. You can prove nothing, coppers. Do we have a problem, Professor? <laughs> we got a big one. Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? Hmm. For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Oh, so you're still hung up on the tome, huh? Besides... If I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tone. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. Well, I guess that really is kind of seeing the silver lining in anything. Mm, an enigma as ever, that one. 
Hmm. Don't you hmm me? God damn it. It was Therese. Oh, it's you. Professor. Oh, Therese. What is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Yeah, no thanks to you. Then you heard true. P Professor, I'm, I'm so sorry. God damn it, why did you say something like that? I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? Yeah, seriously, I thought I was a good teacher to you. Might be slow, but... You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. Well, congratulations! I ain't gonna be paying attention to nobody anymore, because I've been fucking banished! Thanks a lot, you wench! God damn it. Lost my and job, I lost my honor, lost my reputation. Well, no, I guess my reputation stays intact. God damn it. Yes, but I... I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. Oh my god. I have no sympathy for you. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Wait, what? Indeed, I have not been as attentive to oh. you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought he was about to admit to actually having an affair with the freaking princess of the country. That, uh, that would have made for an interesting moment. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. Oh, God, he's going to be one of these smart guys, huh? My studies. I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Oh my god, your your cape does not deserve to be swooshing coolly and epically at this moment, because you're a freaking dunce! You're a dense dunce! If only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are! Oh my god. How is she gonna take this? Oh, God. Um, Professor. Perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. <laughs> Clearly. Yes? <sighs> Never mind. Okay, now I feel kind of bad for Therese. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? I do not see why not. Provided we both still live. Gee, do you have to make it sound so morbid? Oh my god. A scholar with the flair for the dramatics. I... 
I don't know how to... I don't know how to take this right now. He's a fucking moron. Head southeast out of town. Fine. You know what? I want out of this hellhole. This is... Uh, oh, I'm just angry now. Alright, you. Brimming with curiosity, this young boy will go to whatever lengths necessary to say, state an interest. Or state an interest. Even if it puts him in danger. Okay. He brings back rare and valuable items. Smarter bartering. You glean new information. What does that mean? You have a better chance of getting a discount when you purchase items. Oh, that's awesome! That goes hand in hand with Tressa. Childhood friend of the reckless boy by her side. Being the older by two years, she was entrusted by with watching over him. Well, she, she's older than him. A hidden item. Okay. A new treasure is now available somewhere. Ooh, hello. There it is. Sweet, light soul stone. Uh, we really don't have any money to be spending right now. You! What do you have for me to find? Every morning this fisherman calls his catch. Roots of his labor on future drinks. Okay, cool. Hidden item. Hidden item. How about you? An old mercenary who spends most of his day in the tavern. He claims the liquor calms his nerves, so when summoned by his employer, he reports for duty with staggering steps. And the only way this could have been better, with like <laughs> the details, Hello. is if they if they gave everybody a name. That's rock. <laughs> that would be like insanity. Oh, I can't scrutinize you, huh? The uh, the bar the bartender is unscrutinizable. An empty coin pouch, slightly useless. You two. Let me scrutinize you. Ooh, discount at the inn. Okay. Lodgings in town are now cheaper. Cool. I wait, no! No! I still have people to scrutinize! Let me stare at them! Far reaches of hell. Oh god, I could I can make so many jokes. My first one Wow, one letter off, and we would be playing Kingdom Hearts right now. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. Wait, Quarry Crest? Isn't that isn't that the same place where Tressa has to go? If that is the case, that's actually kind of convenient. Oh. Uh, who is who is that? Oh no. And so Cyrus left the academy behind, in search of the lost tome. From the far reaches of hell, what dark secrets might its pages hold? Only the gods know. And he's got a stalker. Oh, oh god, no. Wait, no, go back, we need to go back to town. Don't do this to me, game. I have items to find. Uh, in charge of defending the castle town. New weapons for sale. Ooh. The town smith and armor have new wares. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it when the bard tells his new ballads. Oh my god, there's so many people. We just heard one about the legendary knight Sokroth. How valiant and noble he was. No information gleaned. Her sole dream is to become the realm's greatest actress. She's only eight years old. Good luck, kid. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Alright, I'll talk to you in a second. Holy shit, there's so many people now. Uh, chance of success 90%. Your reputation in town will suffer? What? Quite possibly the most spirited woman in town, gregarious and assertive. The town spoke see her as a leader. His somewhat quiet son, however, tends to follow the pack, much to his mother's dismay. Okay, but what does that do for me? Youth mother's possessions. Nothing really that I want. I may. Piece of sparkle, the crest won't even buy me a proper drink around here. What, you think it means anything, this useless thing? Sure, it meant I was part of something once. What does that mean? Nothing. Brotherhood don't fill your belly? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's true. Oi! No one spoils my fun and gets your- Oh. Uh-oh. Failing with path actions will negatively impact your reputation in town, so be careful. 
The townsfolk will not respond to your path actions if you have a poor reputation. Oh. What? Why? Do is there really any point in doing this? He's got a small gold medal. It's his only prized possession here. Can I buy it from you? The answer would be no. I don't think so. A buckler. I don't think we want to buy that. What about you? 90%. Information gleaned none. Merchant who spends a dispropor dis disproportionate amount of time loitering near Milo in the hopes of obtaining profitable information. He tries to do so by deliberately bumping into him and striking up conversations about nothing in particular. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you, you've, got, you've got problems. I'll tell you that much. So I, I'm getting the feeling that everybody new here in town isn't really going to be giving me much of anything when it comes to information. Nourishing nut. Nice. Good day. I'm a teacher at the Royal Academy. You may call me Thorasio. I'm afraid I'm being hounded by nasty, vicious money lenders. I've made all my parents' debt, but the interest. They always claim that I haven't paid all the interest. So begins the tale of Thorasio's tutelage. Good day. Inspiring plum. Uh, let's scrutinize him a little. A kind-hearted, albeit inexperienced, professor at the Royal Academy who folds easily under pressure. Deep down, he's a passionate individual with a dream he wishes to see come true. Most intriguing, I suppose. What do I do with this information? Greetings to you. Shall I tell you a secret? Truth is, I've been asked to cook for the king himself. I do not lack for confidence in my skills. Alas, I can't seem to get my hands on the ingre ingredients I need most. I want only the best milk, crab, and eggs. Oh, we, wait, we have all this stuff, don't we? We already collected all this. Oh, thank you. At last, I can cook a meal truly fit for the king. You're, you're welcome. Behold, my newest specialty, crimson crab pie. Oh. Oh, oh what a scrumptious aroma. Might I have a taste? Why, hello there, old man. Wait, I know you. You're famed throughout the realm for your discerning palate. Why, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Why, this is absolutely delicious. Simply sublime. The rich and savory taste of the crab melds perfectly with the thick, buttery pie crust. It's wonderful piping hot, but I have no doubt it will be just as tasty served cold as well. But of course, after all, there's no guarantee the pie won't cool by the time the key reaches the king's table. I can see you've thought this through. This is a dish I'd love to share with my fellow fine dining aficionados. Why, it would be an honor. Wow, we, we just got this guy freaking in the, in, in the goddamn celebrity circle here. 1,500 gold, or leaf, and some healing grapes. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, if I look at my journal, what is this, um, flatlands? Fit for a king. Well, we completed that. I'm being hounded by nasty, vicious money letters, but I have repaid all my parents' debt. Where? Where is that? Where can we go to, to help this guy out? Oh, it's not in there. How about it? Is there anybody? Oh, right. We have new stuff available here. The Arcane Glaive, Light Staff, Quartz Rod, Oak Staff, Mage Staff. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Look at this thing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had the cash to buy that. Oh my god, 18,000 leaf? No, I do not have the money. What about over here? Is there anybody new to talk to? Ooh, yes there is. Greetings. 
This tome of the ancient capitals contains a record of the ancient city of gold. El Dorado? What? Look, do you see? An entire city where everything is made of gold. This, this is El Dorado. So begins the tale of the city of gold. When, what is that supposed to do for me? Could such a place truly exist in this world? I wonder if we have to go find it. Greetings. It's only the briefest mention. Ah, uh, she claims to have her inherited have inherited her love of literature from her late mother. Oh, fair enough. Wind Soul Stone. Yeah, we don't need it, so I'm not gonna get it. We've already purchased and scrutinized you to high hell. Greetings. You just love knights, huh? What do you have for, do you have for sale? Curious Bloom. A young man who wants more than anything to help others. Proud of how his father supports public figures. He strives to live to his example. No wonder he likes knights. Most intriguing, indeed. Indeed, indeed. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk to everybody. Jesus Christ. That just that just take way too long. But I do want to see if anything new has popped up in town. Apparently things pop up in town once you complete the, the story there. Which means I should probably go back to Ripple Tide and go take a look, huh? See what else has appeared. Which means maybe, actually, if I'm going to go do that, I could see like Ophelia is just like over here. As well as uh Hanat, uh Hanit. Sparky and Flames Grace. Yeah, let's see, like I don't know. It's like if I were to double back around, I'd have to go collect Oberic. I'd have to go get Primrose, and there's Alfin, Therian. Swarky and Ophelia. I'm wondering, maybe I do go to Flame Grace and then I double back down south, go take a look at Ripple Tide, and then hit hit these places down here. That might not be a, the worst decision, because then I'd pick up Therian as, I guess, the last person. Oh yeah, look at this, everybody. Level 24, huh? Quarry Crest. You know what, that actually doesn't seem like a bad idea. Let's go pick up Ophelia next. And then, and then, will we make our way down to the south, go take a look at Ripple Tide again, see if we've missed anything, because apparently I have. And then make our way back around the other way. Picking up Oberic Primrose, among other people. Alright, let's do it. Let us get the hell out of here. So, what this basically means is we need to travel north again. Open for business. Ah, hello. Weak to light, weak to ice. Interesting. Here oh shit, go. dude. You're like almost dead. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's not good. Trade, trade, trade to, te to Tempest? Nope. Nobody's weak to that. Ah, uh, let's go with the ice wind. Oh, ice. They're both weak to ice. Ow. Oh, God, help me. Oh, ice. Here's some fruit. What to do? Oh, God. Oh, he's just holding on. I think he's gonna get a level up, though. Yep, yep, he did. That's that's exactly what I needed right now. Holy crap, man! Oi, that was uh, it was kind of kind of cutting it close there. But he got fully healed, so I guess I can't complain too much. Yep, the uh, North Atlas Dam flats to Flames Grace. Let's go! Off to the north! We're gonna go pick up another character. Ophelia, the cleric. As far as I'm aware. She found money left behind by another unfortunate soul. <laughs> I just love how that's said. It's like, ah, oh, Tressa just found some cash left behind by an unfortunate soul. Ooh, hello. Weak to spears, huh? 
What next? What about fire? Oh, flames. Rain. Nope. Rock. It was to fire. At least this isn't Pokemon. <laughs> I'm like, they're bug types. They're weak to fire. No. No, not in this case. Ow. My turn now. Uh. Sure. What is the logical oh, he's almost dead. I think. Let's try ice. Oh, ice. No, nobody's weak to it. But I did kill one of the ants. I suppose that is something. Oh, you're weak to staves. Ow. will probably kill him. Yeah, I had a feeling. We could save her boosts for this dude if he doesn't die already. What to do? <laughs> Very nice. I really like the combat. And it's super snappy too. Which just makes that that much more satisfying to me. Uh, Flames Grace is this way. In the Noble Court. And then the East Atlas and Flame, uh, Flat. Oh, all right, let's, let's go this way. Flame Grace is this way. Ooh, hello. I see you there, treasure chest. Don't think you can hide from my all-seeing eyes. We surprised them, huh? What next? Ice Wind. Break all of them. That's one dead. Ow. Ow. My turn now. Yeah. Oh, ice. Here's some fruit. Sweet. You should have studied harder. Do 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 do. Uh, the chest should lead us. It should lead us right here. Olive of Life Medium. Nice. Luckily, I have not yet had to use one of those. Step right up. All right. Fine. We'll fight you guys now too. Course of action. Oh, ice. Here's some proof. What to do? And just hit him. What to do? Let's just hit that guy too. Ice wind. Ooh, that one lived. Hmm. Probably just. Yep. One more bow shot and he's done. Nice. Both of them leveled up. Cool. So Cyrus is now level seven and Tress is level ten. Very, very nice. I'm loving the progress that I'm making so far. Northern Flames Grace Wilds. Ooh. Whoa, look at this place. Oh my god. What is this? So this is where I am right now. This, this is where the path diverged. So Flames Grace is down here. Frostlands? What? <laughs> That's an ironic name. So we need to find a fork in the road and go south. Oh my god, this place is so pretty. The music is so pretty too. Olive of Life. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm gushing over like the, the art all the time or the, the music, but it's seriously gorgeous. Ah, you're weak to lightning, huh? Uh, I'm also willing to bet you're weak to probably fire.
Bet any amount of money. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I had a feeling. I'll just do it again. I guess we'll try his spear. Yeah, we to it. I don't think. No. Can we steal from you? Yes, we can. Thank you. Collected 40 leaf. Nice. Ah, look at that. They're weak to staves as well. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take all your cash. Don't mind me. Thus ends your lesson. Do 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 do. Ooh, no, 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 come this way. This is the way to Flame Grace, isn't it? Flame's Grace that way, Atlas Dam to the north. Western Flame's Grace Wilds to Swarky. That's where there's another person, I think. Uh, hold on. Actually, wait. Is this even... Oh, that's not even a way up. Damn it. I thought it was. Right Got myself stuck in another fight. The weak to axes. Okay. My turn now. Do, do, do. Thank you. They'll be looking at car. Oh, I think the percentage chance to succeed at this... It must go up with each successive... Uh, well, not. Nah. It must go up with e every damage I do the enemies. The weaker they get, the more successful. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's another way to check how much HP these guys have left. <laughs> it's funny. Kaboom! Ooh! Uh-oh. What just happened? I think I was blinded. Okay, if I was blinded... 100% chance of success on this guy. Uh, let's just kill him. Now, can my magic miss? Uh, if it can, I didn't there. You should have studied harder. Inspiriting Plum. This is the way to town, I think. Damn it. God, not more of these guys. Uh, I think I might run from them. Yeah, flee. Damn it! No! We failed to escape! Frick! My turn now. Run! There we go. <laughs> like, no. Stay here a turn and let us beat on you for a minute. And we've made it to Flame's Grace. We found more money. Good day to you. The very cradle of the Church of the Sacred Flame. Uh, our reputation in town will suffer if we fail. He hit an item. Years ago, he and his daughter had a fight, after which she eloped with her husband-to-be. Now that she's returned, he's unsure of how to face her. Nevertheless, he's happy to see his grandson's face. Fair enough. Uh, what can we buy? Spiriting plum, healing grape. Eh, I don't think we need that stuff right now, at least. So this is like a frozen north kind of place. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. How do... How do I get there? How do I get that? Aha! Nice. I will take that. Hey. I was here to keep you cold or a must. Oh, look who it is! It's our next character! We'll be there in just a quick second. Don't mind us. <laughs> this is a warm spring zephyr compared to the town of Northreach. Ooh! Oh god, I'll keep that in mind. 50% chance of success. Such insolence! Oops. Let's try it again. It's a flip of the coin. Damn it! Oh, come on. I can't fail this all the time. Oh, no! Ah. Uh. Fucking Christ! God damn it! 
four times in a row, man. You've come across the cathedral. All right, I'll keep that in mind. When we come back with more Octopath Traveler, we'll go speak to uh, Ophelia, I think her name is, and we will... Let's take a look at her story next. So this is the Musical Gamer signing off. Thanks all for watching. Cyrus and Tressa wish you all a wonderful day. See you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.